wonderful church family. It is so good to be with you again um, on our 31st day of Lent. Um, And so we are going to be reading from Psalm 31 together. So if you want to grab your Bibles, it's quite a long psalm. Um, It is 24 verses, um, but I'm just going to read it to you. Um, And if you want to follow along in your Bibles, then please do. So Psalm 31. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Keep me free from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Deliver me, Lord, my faithful God. I hate all those who cling to worthless idols. As for me, I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your love, for you saw my affliction and knew the anguish of my soul. You have not given me into the hands of the enemy, but have set my feet in a spacious place. Be merciful to me, Lord, for I am in distress. My eyes grow weak with sorrow, my soul and body with grief. My life is consumed by anguish and my years by groaning. My strength fails because of my affliction and my bones grow weak. Because of all my enemies, I am the utter contempt of my neighbours, an object of dread to my closest friends. Those who see me on the street flee from me. I am forgotten as though I were dead. I have become like broken pottery. For I hear many whispering terror on the side. They conspire against me and plot to take my life. But I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies from those who pursue me. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your unfailing love. Let me not be put to shame, Lord, for I have cried out to you, but let the wicked be put to shame and be silent in the realm of the dead. Let their lying lips be silenced, for with pride and contempt they speak arrogantly against the righteous. How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them. From all human intrigues, you keep them safe in your dwelling from accusing tongues. Praise be to the Lord, for he showed me the wonders of his love when I was a city, when I was in a city under siege. In my alarm, I said, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his faithful people. The Lord preserves those who are true to him. But the proud he pays back in full. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. So this psalm there are so there are so many things that i could pick out um but the the running theme um is trusting in god um i think my favorite bit of this this psalm is um verses 14 and 15 so they say but i trust in you lord i say you are my god My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. And it it just it just got me thinking. um, How easy do we find it to trust in God? How easy when we're going through stuff? How easy do we find it to be just like oh, just going straight to God in prayer? how yeah how easy how easy do you find that personally I don't find that easy it takes a lot of work um it takes a lot of me remembering um to do that 
Um, but when I do, it is so, so worth it. Um, and then verse 8. I love verse 8. Um, you have not given me into the hands of, my en- of the enemy, but you have set my feet in a spacious place. And to me, that's just a reminder that no matter what we're going through, no matter what we've done that we're ashamed of um, or what God might have seen, um, God always has a a space. He has a place for us. Um, Yeah. And that is, yeah, I, I, I love this psalm. I just, I think it's just such a, a good reminder and such a promise to trust in God um, that God is always going to see us through everything. <laughs> um, so yeah, why don't you just take a moment to pray? Um, and if there's something that you know you haven't trusted God with, maybe just give that to him. Um, it might be hard, um, but try it and just see what happens. Um, yeah, so just take a moment to just meditate on the psalm um, and pray. <laughs>